dirty south, dirty, dirty, uh, we dirty. Uh, can y'all really feel me? I got better. Girl. East Coast feel me. Uh -huh. West Coast feel me. <laughs> can y'all really feel me? Feel it. East Coast feel me. West Coast feel me. Uh -huh. Dirty south, dirty, dirty. Uh -huh. Can y'all really feel me? what's up guys today's a really exciting video because your girl is doing a twist out and i never thought i'd be saying these words because in the past to be honest twist outs never worked out for me so revisiting it is kind of traumatic that's traumatic but i'm just saying i was very skeptical that this was gonna work but we've grown since then so i think we got it this time so in my hair already, I have a leave-in conditioner. I'm using my Miel leave-in. This is the pomegranate and honey one. And then I'm gonna be using this Pink Lusters Curl Pop and Defining Gel. I did a whole other video, I'll link it at the end of this one, where I did a wash and go with this. I love this gel. It smells good and it works really well. So I figured it worked so well with my wash and go, why not try it with these twists, you know? It had great hold before, so it'll have great hold again, hopefully. So I'm just starting off by dividing off the sections that I wanna twist up. In terms of sizing, as always, I just kind of guesstimated based on how I big I wanted the twist to be. So here's the thing, in the past, I did them way too small and if I do them too small, I don't know, it's like they get really shrivelly and they come out super defined, but also it just, um, my hair doesn't have a lot of body to it, if that makes sense. So I wanted them kind of medium size. I know that makes no sense, but that's what I would call medium. Um, if it was, div if the piece I'm doing now was divided in half, I would call that small. So I'm just going to call these medium. The goal was to have the twist be defined without compromising uh, the volume of my hair. And that's something that's really important to me because I kind of have, um, my hair is a little bit shorter in length. Not short, but shorter in length. So I do like, you know, when it is stretched out a little bit or in one of these styles, you know. I like to push it as far as it can go. So I wanna make sure that it has, you know, it maintains its volume, it ma maintains its size, you know? I want a cute little afro at the end, period. And I was trying to divide the hair. I mean, I guess it truly didn't matter that much, but I wanted the twist to be semi-neat. So I wanted to kind of stack them on top of each other. It didn't really work out that way, but that's why I'm kind of just trying to go row by row and make it as neat as possible. So basically the process is detangle again because my hair, you know, I just always detangle just to be sure. And then put on, because it already has the conditioner in it, I'm going to put on some of the gel and then do a two strand twist. Twists are pretty easy. I mean, they're easier than braids in my opinion. So it's just wrapping the hair around. Um, I don't necessarily have to twist as I go with these because it's my own hair. So it wraps pretty easily. I just have to make sure the end I um, twirl around with my finger because if not, then the twist might come loose. Also, later on, as I got to the second portion of my head, I did have to go in and spray it down with some water again and then put a little bit more leave-in conditioner in just because my hair, it soaked that up quickly. This always happens when I do my hair. Like if I start on one side, by the time I get to the other side, it's already like drying up and that is thick hair, 4C kinky hair. <laughs> That's just how she is sometimes, so yeah. Not a big deal, but I just wanted to mention that.
And y'all, the whiteness is going to go away. I've just come to like <laughs> expect my hair turns white, especially when I'm working with any type of leave-in conditioner. Um, the only time I've not had that happen is when I used this really, really light leave-in conditioner. It was almost like liquidy and I used the smallest amount ever and it didn't even feel like a leave-in was in my hair, so I didn't even like it. But anytime I use a leave-in conditioner, this is kind of the result. Um, it will be completely dry by the morning. Um, um, I just wanted to put that in there because it does frustrate me like I don't like looking at it but it is what it is. Okay, so this is my hair. We are all twisted up. <laughs> I literally look like a 12 year old boy, but we're gonna keep going. It's fine, it's fine. So next, I'm just taking the gel again, just being super OD. I'm going over the ends. I do this because my ends, they're stubborn, like really stubborn. So in order to ensure that when I untwist these in the morning and the ends, I just don't want them to be, what do you call it? fuzzy or just I don't know I just want them to be super uniform and I know my ends they tend to frizz up a little bit so I'm just gonna do that and then I'm putting on my bonnet for the night and then in the morning we're gonna untwist all right so after a glorious night of sleep nothing like my flexi route experience I start to untwist my hair and we are looking good so I did put some almond oil on my fingers right before just because I was like why not have the twist you know have a little shine to it why not um i was really really impressed with the twists like they were uniform they were dried completely it's good stuff 
I'm not gonna lie you guys this was not immediately right in the morning this was about 10 a.m. ish because when I first woke up earlier they were not all completely dry the ones in the front were but the ones in the back were still a little bit damp so I had to wait a little bit longer and that's probably because I just used way too much product um I just could have used less gel I guess but I don't know they turned out pretty juicy so I'm not mad at it it was just a little bit of a longer wait for the dry time but yeah so first round is just really going in and taking out all of the twists um, I'm not really worried about pulling them apart that's gonna come later you know to give us a little bit of body and you know volume to the hair but first I'm just working on untwisting all of them I didn't want to leave any out because that's happened in the past where <laughs> there's been one that I forgot to untwist and I was like girl what so I'm just going through and doing that and then I'm gonna go through and separate them further after all right so this part I was nervous about because I didn't want the twist I knew they were gonna it was gonna turn fluffy but I didn't want the twist to lose you know their definition too much so I just took my time again I put some more um, almond oil on my fingers just you know so we could again have that nice shine and it would slip through easier I didn't force it where it didn't break apart so I just carefully pulled apart each one that I could also I did want to note that the gel I feel like made it a little bit flaky I don't know if you guys can tell but as I'm pulling it apart it's getting a little flaky um, the oil does help with that though I just put some more oil on it and kind of ran my fingers through and it got rid of all of that those little white flakes So my next step is going to be to fluff her out. I definitely want to give her some body. I mean, it looks okay now, but you know, she's looking a little flat. So I just wanted to give her a little bit of body, you know, freshen her up. I'm just kind of moving it around. I decided that a side part looked best with this just because, I mean, my hair is popping, you know, she's got some body, but we're not super, super full. Um, I wanted to make it, you know, work to my advantage, so I did a little side part, and then I just put a little bit of baby hairs down, and then I did put a little bit of edge control right on the part just to tame it down a little bit, but I think that the side part was the best choice, and I feel like for my hair length, it just worked out better than having it all towards the front, but the front wasn't bad either. I definitely could have made that work. All right, so this is our final finished look. I was really excited about this one, y'all. I just, in the past, it did not go this good, like at all. Um, in the past, it was just very deflated and I felt like it didn't have that much body to it, but again, I feel like because I took my time and separated them, you know, used my comb to poof it out, fluff it a little bit, I really loved how it turned out I think the curls are super defined again it was super easy to do the twist I really like these products I felt like the conditioner you know it added some softness to it my hair was hundred percent not crunchy but that is gonna be it for our video today be sure to check out the description box for all the products I used thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video